Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and his accompanying delegation upon his arrival to Bahrain on an official visit. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. After arriving in the Grand Protocol Hall in Sakhir Air Base, the motorcade of His Majesty the King and the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, headed to Sakhir Palace. Students lined up, waving the flags of the two brotherly countries, and folk bands chanted welcoming songs. At Sakhir Palace, an official reception ceremony was held for His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Saudi and Bahraini royal anthems were played, and the artillery fired 21 rounds of salute to the Saudi Crown Prince. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman then shook hands with members of the Bahraini side, while His Majesty the King shook hands with members of the delegation accompanying the Saudi Crown Prince. The official delegation accompanying His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman during his visit to the kingdom includes the Minister of Energy, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Salman. Abdul Aziz, the Minister of State and Member of the Council of Ministers, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed bin Fahd bin Abdul Aziz, the Minister of Sports, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turkey Al Faisal, the Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Nayef bin Abdul Aziz, the Minister of National Guard, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz, the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah, the Minister of Culture. 
Center, His Highness Prince Bader bin Abdullah bin Farhan, the Minister of State, Cabinet Member and National Security Advisor, Dr. Msaad bin Mohammed Al Aiban, the Minister of State and Cabinet Member, Dr. Isam bin Saad bin Saeed, the Minister of Commerce and Acting Minister of Information, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al Qasabi, the Minister of Investment, Engineer Khaled bin Abdul Aziz Al Falah, the Minister of Finance, Mohammed Al Jadan, and the Minister of Economy and Planning, Faisal bin Fadal Ibrahim. المملكة العربية السعودية وسلام مملكة البحرين سلام سيدي
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Saudi Crown Prince conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to His Majesty the King and his wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty then requested the Saudi Crown Prince to convey his greetings to the Saudi King and his wishes for further progress and prosperity for Saudi and its people. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman and return His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality. His Majesty then highlighted the deep-rooted historical relations binding the two kingdoms and ways to further enhance these relations in all fields for the best interest of both countries and their peoples. His Majesty affirmed that the Bahraini-Saudi relations are an honorable model established by the ancestors of both countries and are based on solid foundations, cooperation and joint coordination. His Majesty expressed pride in the historical and firm Saudi stances towards Bahrain and the brotherly support on all levels. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Saudi Arabia and its rejection against all that threatens its sovereignty, security and stability and affirmed that Bahrain will always support the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its belief in common goals and destiny. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Saudi King in developing the Joint GCC Action March and enhancing the cooperation between the member states for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia being the basis of the region's security and stability and defending the nation's issues in the face of certain challenges. He also praised the role of the Saudi Crown Prince in enhancing the Saudi March and achieving further progress and prosperity for Saudi and its people. His Majesty then discussed with the Saudi Crown Prince recent regional and international developments as well as topics of common interest. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations and hailed the firm stances of Bahrain towards Saudi Arabia. He praised the achievements of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the numerous successes in all fields. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. After that, His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund of Four Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the Supreme Commi Commission for the Royal Fund for Fo Fallen Servicemen remotely. His Royal Highness praised the role of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard, and the National Security Agency in safeguarding the Kingdom's progress and supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by the Supreme Commander His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted the commitment and dedication of Bahraini citizens to protect the kingdom, which has shown in their ability to face all manner of challenges. His Royal Highness paid tribute to fallen servicemen who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the security of Bahrain and the safety of its citizens. He affirmed that all members of Bahrain's military and security branches are always ready and willing to protect the kingdom's safety and stability, and for that they deserve the utmost respect and appreciation. He noted that the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen is committed to providing care and support for the families of fallen servicemen. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of providing for the various needs of those families and acknowledged and appreciation of the services given and sacrifices made by their family members. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of the fund's administrators and their clear commitment to achieve the fund's objectives. The most prominent topics on the agenda regarding the work of the fund and support for the families of fallen servicemen were reviewed. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Vice Chairman of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan and Naimi and the committee members also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the perfect of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, His Eminence Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagal at Rafa'a Palace. His Royal Highness commended His Majesty the King's vision, which had placed Bahrain as an inspiring model in promoting tolerance and openness. He noted that the Kingdom's policies and principles are based on the teachings of compassion, tolerance and liberalism from the Islamic religion and values which are enshrined in the core of Bahraini society. His Royal Highness 
Davis highlighted the kingdom's commitment to promoting a culture of pluralism and interfaith dialogue, emphasizing its importance in supporting understanding between peoples and cultures and consolidating peace. His Eminence expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and commended the kingdom's commitment and encouraging multi-ethnic and religious diversity. Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Labor and Social Development Jamil Ahmedan also attended the meeting. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Injaz Bahrain, Her Highness Sheikha Hassa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Injaz Bahrain winning three awards in the 15th edition of the Regional Youth Entrepreneurship Competition. Her Royal Highness hailed the efforts of Her Highness Sheikha Hassa and her contributions to making this achievement, as well as encouraging the youth to cope with future sciences and skills, which which is in line with Bahrain's aspirations for the youth to be the future of the country. She congratulated the students and hailed their efforts in representing Bahrain and wished them and Sheikha Hassa further success. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, affirmed during the Bahraini Saudi Business Forum the strength of Bahraini Saudi relations as well as the Shared Economic Vision 2030. He praised the cooperation between the two countries, evident in the establishment of the Joint Coordination Council headed by the Crown Princes of the two countries. The BCCI Chairman Samir Nas affirmed the depth of the economic and investment relations between the two countries. He highlighted a number of joint projects and expressed aspiration that these projects will result in achieving the aspiration of both kingdoms. The forum then witnessed the signing of an MOU on establishing a multi-field Saudi Bahraini holding company. In a statement to recall the newspaper, the Minister of Information and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali Ramehi, affirmed that Bahrain's leadership and people welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince to the Kingdom for the enhancement of cooperation and integration between the two countries on all levels. Ramehi expressed pride in his brotherly visit, hailing the development of bilateral relations as a model to be followed in cohesion, close alliance, and a solid and comprehensive strategic partnership under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the Saudi King. The minister affirmed the kingdom's pride in the leadership of His Majesty the King, always in solidarity with Saudi Arabia, in appreciation of its honorable historical stances, in addition to its security and stability. He also highlighted the world's appreciation of the Saudi Crown Prince's development and reform initiatives, which strengthened Saudi Arabia's position in the ranks of developed countries. Firm historical relations and a common destiny unite the Kingdom of Bahrain with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The two kingdoms have established deep brotherly ties with strong and firm stances towards each other. More on this report. Today, Bahraini-Saudi relations are exceptional in nature, far from diplomacy, to remain united under their leadership and people. These brotherly relations contributed to supporting progress and prosperity and supporting development efforts at all levels. These brotherly relations contributed to supporting progress and prosperity and supporting development efforts at all levels between the two countries, which adds to the solid relationship that has been preserved and protected by the generous care of the two leaders. I am a Bahraini citizen currently in Jeddah. Um, the relationship of uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Bahrain has been there for many, many years. and. Um, I'm always feeling welcomed in Saudi Arabia. I feel home and uh, our brothers in Saudi are always welcome to Bahrain and uh, we have you know, a lot of relationships with uh, our brothers in Saudi. So uh, I feel home and whenever they come over, they also feel home as well. The relations reached by the two kingdoms during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, are the best proof that both countries share a common destiny with the keenness to further strengthen and develop relations to higher levels. Uh, the relationship between Saudi Arabia and uh, Bahrain is a historical relationship. Uh, when we say entertainment in Saudi Arabia, it used to be before we have all of these huge uh, activations, all of these, these huge uh, uh, entertaining or changing in Saudi Arabia, it used to be in Bahrain. 
as a Saudi, when I when I used to say I want to go to, for example, cinema, I, was, I used to go to Bahrain, and Bahrain is it's it's not another country. It's it's uh, it's like another city from Saudi Arabia. It's it's uh, it's one country for all of us. Today, Bahrain celebrates the visit of the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, which reflects the strong ties and deep-rooted history between the two kingdoms.